What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy, the wisest, most powerful of all nerds. Brian Means is back in here with another review of the Eternals movies by Marvel Studios. Before I get to that, guys, don't forget to like the video, forget to comment below, guys, tell me what you guys thought about the Eternals movies. We will have some minor spoilers in this video, maybe, maybe not. Don't forget to uh, get your very own King Kamara Brian Means t-shirts off my Teespring. I know I'm not wearing it right now. I'm wearing my boy uh, above Sean's. A clothing brand, I have that in the description below. You guys can try to get this kind of jumpsuit for yourself. And most importantly, guys, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue you guys to work content on a regular basis. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video, guys. Eternals. Well, first of all, I'm going to talk about the casting. Uh, it's, it's not really a big point, but um, two things. I kept confusing the one Asian character, male character, for Benedict Wong. It just kept doing like a, a mind screw on me. Like, I kept thinking, like, is that Wong from, from Doctor Strange? Uh, in the Eternals movie, it's kept doing that. I'm not, I'm not trying to sound racist. I'm not trying to say that every Asian person looks alike, but no, some of them do. Like, for example, Matt Damon and uh, what this the guy who played uh, Jason Bourne, they look the same, like, a lot of the times. Or, or Mark Wahlberg. It's, it's easy to get certain people confused regardless of their race. It does happen, okay? Now, I mean, <laughs> Chris, a lot of these things about Asians, but I'm saying in a particular case, it just kept, they, they kind of act the same, they kind of sound the same. I'm just saying, I kept confusing Benedict Wong with the, with the gentleman that played um, Balgamesh or whatever in this in this movie. In addition to that, uh, the, the, the actor that played Icarus, I kept confusing him for Sebastian Stan. Like, oh my god, I know it wasn't there. There was like several times in the movie, I even saw it on Instagram, I'm like, look at him, like, is that Sebastian Stan? Is this Sebastian Stan? I'm like, but it's, it's not, you know? So it's just a white to the tip, like, you know? Anyhow, moving forward. Uh, Eternals, I uh, guys, some of you guys know that uh, even though I'm a big comic book buff, I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to like cosmic and space type Marvel comic books. I'm more of like the Spider-Man kind of guy, or maybe the, the Daredevil kind of guy. And then I like, also dabble a lot in the Avengers as well. And sometimes we do like some cosmic stuff you guys probably seen in the movies, but more or less I don't go into like the the, the Guardians of the Galaxies or the or the or the Eternals especially. You know, not really my uh, forte or my interest. I have to say, I still thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Not even just as a Marvel movie, just as a movie as a whole. It just does a good job for what it's supposed to do. And what I like about Marvel MCU, the MCU built up a lot of goodwill. Like a trap record to like, oh, to bring these like really obscure superheroes and characters from the Marvel Universe onto the big screen. And even like the Eternals don't have that much backstory or that much lore in the Marvel comic book universe themselves. They're not like that deep. It's like a Spider-Man, Captain America, Avengers, Iron Man, whatever. They don't have that deep of a comic book fan base or comic book like source material. And they, they still did a good job of pulling that in. I mean, one thing, my issue with Marvel is kind of the same with the comics. Like they're bringing in, I like that they're bringing in all kinds of factors from the entire spectrum. But at the same time, like you got the, these cosmic beings doing whatever it is they're doing. Then you got like people like the TVA, like with Loki doing whatever it is they're doing. And it's like, I understand there's different levels of superheroism, you know, um, in comic books and, and now movies, movies and screenplay are like pretty much matching comic books as far as bringing like comic book characters, uh, like lore on a respectable level. You know, it's just like kind of a lot, you know, like it, 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 it's part of me was, just, it was like more simple. Like, even when I was reading comic back in the day, I was like, I didn't get mentioned the, the, co the comic like side of Marvel because I prefer things to be simple. And like, you know, you can get to like the Silver Surfer, the Thors, the Guards, the Galaxy, it gets very convoluted and very inconsistent in some kind of way. And they probably were going to do a much better job with the, with the MCU, but it just, it, it, it could really go out there. It's the far picking like characters, like very overpowered, very ridiculous and not very grounded, if that makes sense. Uh, getting back to the movie, like, you know, it had fantastic visuals. I really love the visuals. I love the CGI. The pacing was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. It's like one of the longest Marvel movies. Uh, it's actually second to Avengers Endgame as, as far as runtime. So actually longer than Avengers Infinity War. Because a lot of characters have such a great pacing. It really does a good job with developing all the characters that you see on screen. Marvelous job with that, pun intended. And uh, what's also good about this movie is that, like, literally, you, go, you don't have to know anything about the Eternals from the comic books. You don't even have to know anything about other Marvel characters. You don't, have, you, don't have, you don't even have to watch any other Marvel movies. This could literally be your first Marvel movie that you've seen, and you'll be okay watching the movie, like, on its own. It's a, it's, this movie stands on its own very well. Even though it does connect to other parts of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it stands very well on its own by itself. Without you have to have any other, like, prior knowledge of whatever else is going on. 
And that's what I love about the movie, because like, I was going in blind. So I don't know if going in blind actually made me enjoy the movie more or less. But like, since I watched the movie, I did read a little bit more on the terms of some backstory. And there is some discrepancies in there. And of course, a lot of consistencies as well. But I say that going in blind is, you know, it allowed for all the, the, the twists and and things to happen like very natural for me. Even if, if I did read the comic books and, and did like a lot of read books and did like a research on who all the characters were and their backstories, I still would have been thoroughly surprised about how things turned out in this movie. I really also like how they built the villain for this movie. I'm not gonna spoil that's like kind of the major spoiler here. But I really love how they did it as opposed to other Marvel movies. I love the fight scene, I love the action, they had great action, it just felt you know, like for example, you have uh, really powerful characters in, in Marvel, like, uh, you know, Thor, Captain Marvel, whatever the case may be, and they really made these hyper power characters feel very, you know, natural, very uh, human. Now, as far as the MCU goes, not the comic books, um, Captain Marvel still is legitimately, I think, the most powerful character they, they have, and like, the most powerful characters, I guess, in the Eternals is probably on Thor's level, you know what I mean? I can't say that there's stronger than he is or necessarily completely weaker or not um I mean some of them definitely are weaker than Thor but like I guess definitely Icarus and some others could probably match Thor a little bit as far as like prowess and, and strength or whatever in the MCU. I mean in the comic books I think Thor is like probably this generally stronger than the rest of the Eternals. Uh, my only real issue I guess with the movie and you know it's not an attack on anybody's community but like I hate how they use the black community and the Muslim Arab community to kind of push the agenda, you know what I mean? But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway guys, I highly do recommend that you do watch the Eternals movie. It is an excellent showing, an excellent addition in the Marvel movies, and I think it's among the higher tier. Um, I would say personally I enjoyed it more than all the Thor movies and all the Guardians of the Galaxy movies that came out so far as far as the Space Age um, Marvel movies go. So guys, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to comment below guys, tell me what you guys thought about the Eternals, how you rank it, what you thought about it. All that type of good stuff. Don't forget to cop some t-shirts and merch off my websites and my homies websites. The links in the description box below. And most importantly, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to give you guys more content. It's your boy Brian Mises, the wisest and most powerful of all on the earth. I'll see you guys next time.